Turn 80. Um, not much to see here. You can actually use the replay actions button and it'll show me what moves Fluffy made. So it looks like he's setting up forts here, which is awkward because it's going to make it quite a bit harder to clear. Um, I think very, very awkward. Uh, I would like to get this dude in, but unfortunately I have to go around these forts, so I probably want to get this down there at some point, but 100 training is going to be really expensive. Um, option two is, uh, is basically cutting off all my angles. This is, this is really disturbing. Um, all right, so this guy finished ministry. We can't start a palace. We are three years away from legendary culture here. So we can go ahead and increase again. Civics production in the city is pretty good. Eloquent is pretty nice. Um, so we can keep pumping inquiry here. It's just it's basically giving us extra 40 science a turn. We could not really get that from specialists right now. Uh, although I would love to build more specialists. Like, it's just... Yeah, we might consider a master scribe. Or, yeah. So, given that we want to get a palace up in three turns, uh, we should probably build a farm. I'd like to build this. I could build a farm. Um, I think I'm going to have enough wood to sort of balance everything once all these guys finish. Uh, and I'm probably going to be using some wood to get this up and running as well. So I think right now just looking at balance of increasing food and iron as much as possible. Uh, that means it's farm time. Where is a good spot for a farm? Use this show rural improvements. Um, yeah, it looks like there's a nice 10 food spot here. Don't really see anything better. So let's go ahead and grab this one. Uh, we can also, since we're going to be very high on orders, we can chop. I'm going to chop all the way. Uh, here we are. Yeah, we could put a lumber mill here, but at this point, I just need farms. So three years, and then we'll start a palace on turn 83. Um, to really speed up that inquiry, um, civics production is just glorious. Um, unfortunately, she's like 54, so we'll see what he becomes um, in two years, in four years, actually. Here, likewise, I think it's farm time. Um, I hope it's farm time. I would love it to be farm time. Give me farm, good good farm location anywhere. Doesn't look like there's anything great. Um, the best is like seven down here, um, which is pretty underwhelming. So yeah, nothing really great farm wise. Uh, here's an eight. Let's take this one. I uh, don't really have anything else I can chop, I think, for that one. I don't think I have the orders to go up there, grab that, chop, come back, right? Nope. Chop. Here we're going to start another mine. It's a great tile for a mine. Uh, I don't know what this S was intended to mean. Um, sorry, maybe? I'm not sure why I have an S there. Uh, here we can probably start on lumber mills around this. That seems reasonable. We can move this over, move this over lumber mill here. These lumber mills we're primarily building for training purposes because it'll get us from Shrine of Atar. This guy can upgrade to melee. It's checking how much damage it does. It does seven, seven damage, ten damage. Um, I don't know that it's worth breaking out here. Uh, maybe. We could also build a boat here. Uh, he won't be able to kill this boat, and that will give us movement into here. And we could take the city on a lightning attack. I kind of like that. Well, the problem is, yeah, and he just counters here. Uh, especially with Rome, he's got great movement. I don't know. Might be worth consideration. Think about a boat. Um, do have a Byream available, so I like that idea. Consider boat. Boat or Mirzad. Or even Ancha, actually. 
not sure where the boat will pop out. <laughs> not sure will it pop out on this side or this side. I could build a harbor, uh, but I don't think I have coinage for harbors. Um, so this is the larger body of water by far. It should pop out on this side, which means that I can anchor it here. Uh, and then uh, we're even here. We're here even. That reaches, yeah. And that gives me quite a lot of coverage. And I can attack that city. Okay. Uh, everyone's chilling up north. We have this guy here. We can move it onto a tile here. We will take Brave as well. Uh, Islander would be nice. Depends where we're attacking, right? Uh, let's see. Highlander, that's 8 damage. Brave, that's 7. So probably take Highlander. Very useful. Uh, it does have Eagle Eye as an option, so. Mm, Unfortunately, we're going to have a Palton next turn. Paltons, I think, are 160 to upgrade. So I can force march over here. Uh, I would like to get an agent somewhere here, but for now we'll just do this. Get around that guy, and then chill here. And then here in Tuss, I think the best call is actually get a treasury up. We're not going to be able to snag Circus Maximus. Uh, we don't have the stone income for that. Uh, but treasury will give us quite a lot of money. Uh, in fact, we can do both treasuries, maybe? I don't know. I'll think about that one. They don't really want to build another specialist with Poet. Probably Poet was, poet was a mistake, honestly. Um, we can double special, double tre treasury, get ourselves some extra gold pumping in the city. So, um, Although we're, we're pretty good on money right now, and this stuff is far, far more valuable. Which leaves us, what do we do with this city? Um, could get an elephant to push people out. Um, we don't have land consolidation, though. The Grey just turns into money, so maybe we just hit council on this. Uh, alternatively, we can just uh, get a scribe, even though we got the poet. Uh, probably good to get the scribe. Scribe, though, the problem with scribe is it costs food. Um, so, yeah, I like the treasury plan. Stone is probably the least valuable thing I've got right now, because I'm not going to be using it for wonders at a certain point. Um, yeah, we can definitely anchor a boat somewhere around here, a couple of boats, which will enable movement from here uh, into here. This seems like the more fruitful attack angle, honestly. Uh, just attacking when hit army is not. This is going to be really hard to break into. I'll have to figure out what we leave up here <laughs> to block a landing. Um, and the problem with Rome is he, of course, is a zealot, so has pretty far range on everything. Um, which is frustrating and challenging, but that is always playing against Rome. All right, not sure. I see a path to victory, but our science income, we are, he is still primitive, primitive and we are stronger. He's at five laws now, so we are slowly running out of time. But hopefully we can get Barding next turn. We'll get Marshall Code and then on to Barding. And we just need to fix the eco. We've got one, two, three, four chariots. Um, trying to get to crit critical maths on Palthon cows. We're at three. I'd like probably maybe three or five more or so. Um, and then four chariots and like, which we upgrade. It's just need money and food so badly. So that's another reason to go for treasury. Money translates into food. So um, once we get barding, we'll probably just, uh, just, yeah. <laughs> Scholarship is also an option. We've got pretty good friendliness here. I think martial code is probably good. Um, and the scholarship is so tempting, but yeah, no, I, I need the I need the barding right now. Um, arbitrary science is not very good. Um, man, this would just make the city so super powered though. Oh, great, we could get in here, but what can you do? Um, he's fifty four, not long for the world. Hopefully, he'll be good. Don't have that many ambitions. One ambition is definitely a mistake. Kept, kept wanting me to get a second Elder Acolyte, which I think I would have had to build out of like here or here, I guess. I could build it here. Um, 
Yeah, the Acolyte would take like many, many years. Awkward. Um, any good governors here? Oh, we got a diplomat. Uh, sure. She doesn't kind of do anything, but uh, cleric diplomat. So, you know, we need rep with the riders. I'm sure we can assign her. Uh -huh. She's pretty young. Maybe she'll get some nice traits. Uh -huh. So, you want to rush this one out for 210 gold? I think so. Uh, it'll shave a turn off. Doesn't really matter. We don't have the. Like, we'll need to start a Peloton and upgrade a Peloton. So. Mm -hmm. I think it's worth rushing at the apprentice officer. We were, I think we was, would have been worth rushing the elders, but we didn't have the money at the time. We didn't have the places to put the apprentice officers. Uh, we don't have tempo to get apprentice officers up and running here, I think. Right? That takes three years, three years. Maybe, maybe we swap production um, and get those apprentice officers up here. Uh, yeah. This city is so far away. 65 years. 12. So, yeah, potentially you can also swap to chariots, although we don't have the bank to upgrade. All right, um, realistically we're at 180, so that's probably nine years to barding, ten years to barding, something like that. Um, maybe we should go get just off scholarship. I don't know. Feels like a pretty big detour. Probably should have gotten it before going down the Marshall Wood right line. Yeah, we would increase our science. We don't really have the specialist build here. And the food for specialists, all sorts of problems right now, this game. All right, um, that is going to be it for turn 80. Just going to do a very quick sit rep here. Um, our plans are figure out how to break out of Rome. Rome is locking us up and uh, slowly building wonders. And he's got a judge is ill and a builder lined up next and once that builder is the heir he's just gonna power the wonders out and then uh, we run out of time and he wins so we are on a clock um we are on a clock Don't have a cartography, don't have metaphysics, don't really need them. Scholarship doesn't matter at this point. Like, all we need is military. Rebarding is is all we need right now. Scholarship, the time for scholarship is long gone. Turn 80 is too late to worry about it. Um, so, yeah, we will uh, see what we can do in a breakout. I like the naval invasion here. Kill that take the city, although this city does not matter, so not sure. Option two, get some boats of our own uh, somewhere here, I guess, and then sail them all the way around. That seems horrible. Uh, we could build a boat here, build, build here, then attack this way around the forts. I mean, we can also just march in here. Um, he has not realized there's a pass here, or has forgotten there's a pass here, or is not paying attention. Um, so that's an option. Yeah. Timeline since the last uh, one been pretty peaceful. Just teching up. Uh, we discovered citizenship or call stirrups forestry, and he has started the oracle. Uh, that builder error is really worrying. Only have one ambition, which is terrible. But we kept getting elder acolyte offerings that we just didn't want to take, which maybe we should have in retrospect. Succession. We will likely be bypassing our brother uh, and going to our nephew with designate heir. Uh, Apparently you can't do while you're tutoring. That's interesting. I'll make sure there. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. We have the science or the uh, civics for it. Tech. And then just staring at the tech tree. Uh, laws. We're on seven. He's on five. Uh, what are his five? My curiosity. He's got exploration, slavery, centralization, constitution, serfdom. To be expected. Wonders. He has all of them. I have none of them. Just do not have the stone. Really, really don't like playing on non mirror maps for that reason. Cities by training. Um, 
This is actually our best training city. Just horrible culture at the moment. Just, it's, it's not great right now. <laughs> just not great. Um, and there's no way we can fix it. We just, yeah. Um, so we'll see if we can break out. And then if we can break out with Katas, uh, we'll probably get a couple more Paltons out. Uh, realistically, re let's say we attack when we get Barding. I don't think I can break out with just Katas at this point. Uh, with just Cataphract Archers, I think I'm going to need Barding. Um, I have four chariots, so I can math out how much I need. So I'm going to need to figure out how to stockpile exactly that much. It's going to cost a lot of money to get enough food and iron to do that. Um, so, but should be able to chew through this pretty quickly. Uh, also, we'll need to get, you know, rally, civic training. Uh, don't have horses here, so even if I got racks up here, it wouldn't help. <sighs> rough, rough situation. Um, source of science, Parso's carrying for us, 42 could be better if we had, you know, scholarship, but we got it too late. Um, family opinion, everyone's pretty happy, which is great, so hurrah. Um, and then graphs, victory points, resource prices, iron, continue in Nickelheim, um, territory explored, owned, mill score, wood, production, finally got, catching up. Orders, we're at 43, money, science, happiness. Yeah, you can see the our orator dies. We choppy. Growth, civics. Um, growth, civics. Civics production is actually really, you know, um, draining. It's coming along, but yeah, we just on a clock, he's gonna... My, my get sense is he wants to wall off and get his builder in there and uh, put stack workers and just collect workers. I mean, he's collect. He's got 10. Thank God Ishtar is not on the map. Um, not in this map, but he's got 14 cities and 10 of them are weak. So let's say that's 14, 10 more points that is there. And then it's just basically three more wonders. Uh, those weak cities will flip over very quickly. Uh, let's see what culture looks like. Yeah, this one's three years away. Um, I think I have visibility. Yeah, this Rome is almost 54 years away but like presumably some of these big cities are pretty close so i i you can start one or two more wonders um he did found judaism don't believe he's built the yeah he hasn't built the holy wonder so like mm, we're pretty close here once that builder inherits that oracle ziggurat hanging gardens like you can do all the jeep wonders get culture in all these weak cities um and I just lose on points. So I am going to need to make a move as quickly as I can here. Really, really. Uh, we're going to we're gonna try. Um, the architect ill, 40 years old, so it might be a while. If I were him, I would honestly just abdicate <laughs> and go with the builder, because it uh, feels like that is going to be far stronger for strategy. Uh, he's got a diplomat, a tactician, um, and his current ruler is a judge maybe he's yeah i don't know upgrading improvements maybe he's trying to go to eight laws or seven laws to get a strength view who knows all right um yeah family tree last thing to note pretty sparse just did not have very many kids at all uh it's just always rough so orator into orator uh actually orator into scholar because we skipped and we're probably going to see what we get from our politics student Arts of Xerxes. Um, Alright, I have battled on long enough. And that is going to end turn 80. Turn 81. We have gotten uh, Arsenal Code. We're going to redraw and get Barding because that is super important. Uh, got a couple of events here. Could have civics. We're we'll focus our air on the studies. We're going to take the civics. It's not technically our air, uh, but like, I don't really care that much about high discipline. If that was wisdom, I definitely would have taken it. But yeah, body poem. Uh, we will not take a lover. Sorry, ambassador, you are just not going to be our lover. That's okay. All our opinions are pretty happy. So, and then ambitions of faith. 
really, the game really wants me to make two Elder Acolytes. I think this is the third or fourth time I've gotten this ambition offered to me. No, I don't want it. I also don't know why creating Elder Acolytes makes Zor the Zoroastrians happy. Like that just influences, that, that's pagan. Like what, what the heck? Kill five Numidians. Where are the Numidians? Are they just hiding out here somewhere? I haven't seen any raids. It would really suck if they came out of here. Is there an island of Numidians down here? I don't know. I haven't seen a Midian for a while. There's no way in heck I'm going to be able to kill five of them. So I'll just take the XP. That gives me a new trait. Uh, since I already have three strengths, uh, I'm just going to take the Wisdom. Uh, bringing, like, single-handedly that adds eight science. Um, and I definitely have six, six, six specialists in this city. So whenever I finish Barding, because right now Barding is the, like, that that three-turn inquiry is is getting more science than the specialists are, right? Because like building a master scribe uh, would be four, and it would take two years, so that's effective two forever, granted, uh, but right now, not that much. And inquiry, very, very good. Um, three years, so 40, 40 science a year, so we're effectively 186 science right now. Uh, later on, once we get uh, scholarship, we potentially can, but right now we're, we're in full barding mode. All right. We'll start a Pelton Cav here. I'll actually go back and forth on that quite a bit. Um, we'll move our produced one over here and upgrade it, buying into a Cataphract Archer. That brings our count up to four. We've got one, two, three, four. So we're getting there. Barding is probably like seven, eight years away. I want to have enough money, uh, or rather enough food and iron to stockpile, and we will upgrade all our chariots. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four chariots somewhere. There's our fourth chariot. Uh, two cataphracts, and then go attack um, with everything we have, because we have to break out. We, we are going for barding timing. We're going to have barding probably before turn 90, which is really fast um, and pretty strong. And we've consistently been, he's been consistently prim primitive to us, and he is consistently stronger. Uh, so we're going to do what we can. Of course, he's Rome, so he has a bazillion units, um, and they can move across <laughs> further than anything else, because Rome. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what we can do. These boats are disturbing. The fact that there's the scout, a low scout, um, is disturbing. I think he may have forgotten. He is no longer a schemer. Um, if the scout, I assume the scout is just going to become an agent. Um, so that sucks because he's getting a lot of science from my city and catch up. But fortunately, that's changing next patch. Um, so and today is uh, March seventh, so that patch should be going live tomorrow. So you won't get very much bonus from that. Um, but otherwise he would draft off my governor. I'm going to move down here, chop, chop, and I'm going to start a granary here because I'm, this will grab me borders uh, and actually collapse so I can get, this is a lush river tile, so that's another good farm tile. I really, really, really badly need food. Uh, all these units also take food upkeep. Uh, the more units I build, especially cataphract archers, cataphract archers are one, and chariots are, and chariots and specifically cataphracts are going to be six, uh, so that's going to be Chariots are four and cataphracts are six, so I need need more food. Uh, I'm actually going to be producing out of both these cities, I think. We started in Palton Cav here. Uh, I'm going to start a seven iron mine on flat land. I need iron as well. Uh, we started a woodcutter here, changed our mines, uh, started a festival here to get another miner up and running, and then I'm actually going to fisher. I haven't improved these nets, and that's ten food, and it's going to take two turns to do, so that's probably better than anything else I can do. Uh, I really need to balance out food. Econ is a mess right now. Uh, Peloton Cav here, I'm going to go back and forth um, quite a bit on whether I get Peloton Cav. Um, I think I think about a miner. I eventually will come back to a Peloton Cav. Um, yeah. Because I, I need raw units and ranged is going to be critical. So we can also build a granary here which if you hold down alt by the way you can see all the things you can build on that tile it's super cool alt um would give me 12 food as well so and two growth so uh yeah although we will not do that until after we finish the palace uh which will matter quite a bit actually uh i think it'll speed things up so yeah we may have uh these are eight and a half food tiles so all right, I think that pretty much ends turn. I'm not gonna. I want all my money because um, I've got decent vision of what he's got, and realistically, if I can break this, that's gonna be a big chunk of his army. Um, so I, I have I have the vision I need right now. Um, 
I have sight, pretty good sight. I don't expect any sneak attacks anywhere. And even if I did, uh, he's not gonna like he, he's not gonna anchor boats all the way around here. That does not seem feasible. Um, and I would also see them coming and have a road, so you can easily can easily get back. Lots of orders. Um, definitely uh, interesting turn. So, all right, I think that uh, concludes turn eighty-one. We are not picking up holy war. We will um, when barting is complete. Um, but not then, not until then, because um, it does cost significant science, and I do not want to telegraph that I have it. Um, let him keep him guess guessing. Uh, Rome is on five laws, we're on seven, so our advantage is still there. It's not going to last forever, um, and he will have eight strength units yet. I have not seen any Hestasis yet, uh, but I would be able to tear through this pretty straightforwardly, I think. Um, yeah, this does five damage. The Ardyr. Barting is going to do even more, and then peeking inside, he still only has militia, which means he is not going down this dangerous, dangerous tech path manner. As soon as I see conscript, I know I'm on a clock because he's going to be getting piped in, but I'm well ahead of him in tech, so should be good. All right, that is it for turn 81. See you for turn 82. Take care. Turn 82. Uh, we can get some XP for the Duke, which we'll do. Our spy master has died, and we can upgrade uh, Xerxes, who is this governor. Normally, I would take intelligent because four science is pretty good, but since I need food so badly, I'm actually going to take Pathfinder because it gives me a lot since I've got nets here. Um, so, and we're going to assign a new guy, a spy master. We're going to start a chancellor mission to influence the riders to get them up from 222. So that's pretty low. We will move this guy over here. Start a farm. Start a Palatine calf here. Other options are including a citizen or fisher, but that gets us 20 food. Uh, I think I think I'd rather have military production from that city. We'll move uh, that cataphract archer over and get a. Uh, Upgrade it with uh, Heckler because he's putting a lot of generals on things. Here, I'm going to get a farmer for five and a half food. Um, probably the best option that we have here. Um, pull up our last citizen slot. But realistically, we're already almost one turning, or I guess two turning decrees. Um, I'm still on the fence on that one. We'll think about it some more. Uh, doing something here. Probably tutoring, yeah. Tutoring with Sappho and tutoring with our leader. And then a note to remind myself to start a trapper here next turn. And that pretty much ends our turn. Um, so 22 orders in the bank. Scout has not moved, weirdly. Um, and then we can think about this farmer. Option two is go get a scribe. Um, master scribe leads to elder scribe. It gives me five science for civics. Uh, it's a lot of food though that I don't have. I can't really afford the 140 food to get that. So I think we're probably just going to do a farmer and then council maybe. Uh, so we can rush stuff out with civics potentially. Not sure. Um, I'm at a loss of what to do with the city. Um, it's going to be ways to get here. So we might just do foods all around here, farms. Because uh, we do need a lot more food than we have. So. Just take a note, farm, plus 84, and probably council, slash, we could do festivals. Um, yeah, legendary next turn, which is great. And that's pretty much it. He is walling up. Um, check, getting walls here. Still only militia. Chariot still. Status is available, because he's on four laws. Um, yeah. And then we removed our agent from Rome, fortunately. We don't really have anyone I can assign there. Because this oligarch uh, is a general right now, but he gets us more as a spy master. And otherwise, uh, and in theory in three years, we could influence the spy master as well, uh, potentially. Although we may also want to rally as well. But that will be good as well. Because we're and I need some training to upgrade. I need 400 training to upgrade three chariot, four chariots, four chariots, yeah. 
Not really sure why these guys are like staying one health damage. I feel like either they should take a point of damage from the marsh or they should heal. Uh, yeah, kind of weird that they're just staying like that. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, I will eventually need to block something with that. Um, maybe we start pulling up this low hit point marauder. Move this guy back over here and move this low hit point marauder up there. And then any other low crap marauders that we have. Uh, this guy's pretty, pretty crap. It can come up over this way to move the other guy. Um, and this guy can retreat here and stay on that to get some XP. All right. Um, I want to free them up, so move four straight. Free them up so that I don't have to have these forces up there. Um, do we expect to attack? Probably not. It's like there's a river here, it's actually really awkward to attack. Uh, the city has walls. Um, wouldn't expect him to take it. He's got a judge with again that builder lined up next. All right, I think that is actually it. So see you next turn.